I didn't realize how finding your voice could actually free you. Once I started speaking, I was like literally like burdens lifting off of my shoulders that I didn't, like I knew that they were heavy, but like once it started lifting, you realize like how heavy you really were. My name is Lakeisha Anthony. I am the CEO and founder of Voice. I am also the director of Mothers in Charge Mentoring Program. And also I'm a leader at Catalyst for Change Church. I experienced college uh, sexual assault, campus sexual assault when I was 19 years old. And that is the experience that really kind of put me on the level of doing this work. I was silent about my experience for 12 years. And from that, when I finally found my voice, I felt like a calling from God that I needed to kind of help others. I am just so grateful that people get to see this part of my life. Because this is the most, if you can take away everything else, give me God. Faith is just a very important factor in my life, and I honestly don't know where I would be without God. All the amazing things that people see, I don't look at it as me doing anything. It's ultimately God using me to help another person. I'm blessed that he's allowed me to live to do so because I'm not supposed to be here. I never forget there was one time, it was in the middle of the night and I literally was rocking back and forth, crying, calling on the name of Jesus, like that I would not commit suicide that night. And then I got up and I went to church that morning and just so happened my pastor was preaching about depression. Like I felt like God was speaking to me in that moment about what I just made it through last night and to kind of give me that message that yes, you can make it. You can, you, you, there is a reason for you to live. I feel like in that moment, God used you to help me see my purpose. We don't really hear the voices of black women regarding their stories. When I was going through my experience, there wasn't a black woman that I necessarily thought, oh, I can look to to say, yes, this person overcame it, so I can too. I want to ensure that every black woman who's ever had any type of experience, no matter what it is, that you don't have to be ashamed of your story, you don't have to be ashamed of your truth. Actually, your truth can actually help someone else. And that's what I really want to encourage us to be able to do. Let our guards down in front of one another. Because all of us hurt in some kind of way, mm -hmm. no matter what it may be. It doesn't have to be depression. It doesn't have to be sexual violence. It could be anything, anything. Black girls have been talking about their experiences, but it has not been amplified as it should be. You all have a pen to write some of those things that you believe kind of hinders your dream. We're destroying the things people said, the things people did. We're destroying the things we think about ourselves. We're just destroying the past behaviors that we even exhibited that hinders us from being who we said that we can be. That's the, the message that I want to send them the most. They can do and be anything that they want to be in life and that their past and their current circumstances do not dictate their future. I also want to allow um, them to dream bigger. And you need to remind yourself that daily, okay? So I want you to repeat it after me. I am beautiful. Mm -hmm. Say it like you mean it. I, I am beautiful. beautiful. I can accomplish anything I set my mind to. I can accomplish anything I set my mind to. I am great. I am great. And my self-esteem is intact. And my self-esteem is intact.